In this lesson, you are going to create the virtual machine that will host your first Windows server. I suggest you follow with me and create that virtual machine on your computer. This is a hands-on course and you need to test and practice what you learn. This is the better way to quickly master Windows server. Alright, now open VMware Workstation Player you have installed earlier. Click on Create a new virtual machine. On the first page of the wizard, you can choose to install the operating system immediately after creating the virtual machine or choose to install the operating system later. Choose this option and click Next. Here you have to select your guest operating system. VMware allows you to choose between Microsoft Windows, Linux and or another operating system. In the version list, you have to select the version of Windows you want to install. At the time I am recording this video, VMware didn't offer the Windows Server 2022. The latest Windows version available is 2019. But this is not a problem because these versions here are just templates that allow VMware player to help you choose the recommended hardware configuration to run Windows Server. It will not prevent you from installing Windows Server 2022. So I select Windows Server 2019 and go ahead. Here you need to enter a name for your virtual machine. I will name it Windows Server 2022 GUI. This is because you are going to install the Windows Server with the desktop experience. In other words, the graphical user interface, the GUI. In this field, you can choose the location where the VM files will be stored. I will keep the default location and click Next. On this screen, you need to specify the disk capacity. By default, VMware suggests uh, 60 GB. This suggestion is based on the operating system version we have selected in the previous step. 60 GB are OK for Windows Server 2022 VM. You have to keep in mind that the hardware requirements in terms of disk space, the number of CPUs and memory size depend on the role your server will hold. For example, a file server will need more than 60 GB of disk space. OK, you have to choose whether you want to store the virtual disk as a single file or split it into multiple files. Splitting the disk makes it easy to move the virtual machine to another computer but may reduce performance with very large disks. I prefer to store the virtual disk as a single file, so I will select this option and click Next. In the end, you get the summary screen with the virtual machine name, the location of the virtual machine files, the hard disk size, the memory size, 2 GB is the minimum size required to run Windows Server 2019 and 2022. In other devices, you can see that VMware has created two CPUs for this VM. The VM also has CD and DVD drive, the USB controller, a printer and a sound card. I will show you in a moment how you can change the default configuration for those devices. When done, click on Finish to create the VM. As you can see, the VM has been created and added to the list of available VMs. Now you have to edit your virtual machine and change some default configurations. The first element in the list is the memory and you can change the default memory size. If you have enough memory on your host machine, you can raise the size to 3 or 4 gigabytes. This way, Windows Server will run smoothly. By default, the VM has two CPUs. I will keep this number. In the Network Adapter menu, you need to select the virtual network to allow this virtual machine to communicate with other virtual machines and with external networks. I mean by that, Internet. So select Custom and in the list, select VMNet 8. 
you don't have to change the configuration of the other devices. When done, click on OK. Congratulations, you did it. Now you are ready to install Windows Server 2022. Thanks for watching and see you in the next lesson.